Then the next political spin that came out of last night was <clears throat> Bernie Sanders barely won or, or lost, not barely won. Bernie Sanders barely lost, whatever. I'm guys, I'm, I'm dealing with a bug. So if I'm incoherent for about two seconds, understand um, I've got some stuff going on here. <laughs> Bernie Sanders lost in an all white liberal city, liberal state. And if he can't win in an all white liberal state, then he really doesn't stand a chance in New Hampshire. He doesn't stand a chance in South Carolina. He doesn't stand a chance because he can't even win in an all white liberal state. Mm -hmm. S somewhat to suggest that this old white man is more a beneficiary of whitedom, of whiteness in America then Hillary Clinton is a beneficiary of whiteness. Somehow, this is the thing that trips me up the most. And this goes across the board for Hillary Clinton supporters, whether they're black or Hispanic or whatever. They feel like somehow Hillary Clinton is more or is less a recipient of white privilege in America than Bernie Sanders. <laughs> because Bernie Sanders is a white man in America. Hillary Clinton is more oppressed and does not receive as much privilege, even though Hillary Clinton is estimated to be worth between 25 and $100 million. And Bernie Sanders is worth like $700,000. That's about as much as Hillary Clinton makes in one speech for Goldman Sachs. But this narrative from Iowa, which is so convenient, is that Bernie Sanders is a recipient of white privilege such that he should have clearly won Iowa, which is an overwhelmingly white state, which he which which he clearly should have had the privilege of just walking a cakewalk, because as we all know, Hillary Clinton does not receive the benefit of white privilege. Yeah, that is. Let's see if I can open up these comments over here without. Yeah. That is spin 102, <laughs> 103. I'm sorry, they're on the uh, they're on the junior level. Um, so the first spin was, I don't even know if I could recount everything I just went through. I, matter of fact, I'm not going to try tonight. Normally, I could, I, I, I can't tonight. Just run, rewind the tape. And I think that might have been some of the more nefarious spins that came out of that. So he's a beneficiary of white privilege that Hillary Clinton is not a beneficiary of. He's a spoiled sport because he won't agree or he's arrogant because he won't agree to the debates. And he could not just give this moment to Hillary Clinton. Uh, he could not concede that she won, even though um, it, should be, it should be a historical moment that we should all pause and celebrate for Hillary Clinton because she's the first, first woman to win. Listen, here's the thing about that. I see a lot of women. Hey, hey, shit, I don't care. I mean, I've been called so many more things than a misogynist, right? <laughs> That's the last thing. The last thing you want to do is get somebody who's been called everything uh, possible that they don't even care what you call them anymore. So call me a misogynist. It's hard to be excited about the first woman winner of the Iowa caucuses when they are such an entrenched candidate. Sorry, I'm not running around celebrating. I might run around celebrate if she happens to beat Bernie Sanders and happens to beat uh, Marco Rubio, which I don't believe is going to happen. I will take a moment and pause and celebrate the achievement here in the United States that finally, after all of these years, all of these decades, all of these presidents, we finally have a woman president because that is something to be proud of. But that is not the totality of what we should be concerned with in this election. Because when you have a candidate who is the quintessential, the epitome of establishment, I got to stop all this moving, man. When you have somebody who is the quintessential definition of an establishment politician, then what is there to celebrate for the rest of us who are on the receiving end of the establishment? So I'm sorry if we are more concerned with, yes, Chris Matthews, a political and economic revolution then we are just doing the checkbox for a woman president. I will celebrate, even if it's Hillary Clinton. 
I will take about five minutes and I will celebrate and say, you know what, damn it, we finally did it. We have a woman president in the United States. But I would run cartwheels and turn, my big behind would turn cartwheels down uh, the Lincoln Monument, uh, down the reflection pond, the reflecting pool. I can't even think right now if it was uh, 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 Elizabeth Warren. Because not only did we achieve a significant milestone in electing the first woman president in the United States, but we would have made a significant milestone in electing a real progressive president of the United States. Or at least one that tells us she's progressive and let's see how she would have reigned when she got into office. I don't know. You never know with, with politicians, but I believe, I definitely believe Sanders and I believe Warren far beyond, I believe Hillary Clinton, which I, I forgot, I don't even know what my fourth um, level of propaganda was. <clears throat> I, I was just making that up as I went. I was just recounting all the bullshit that I heard all night long, all throughout the day. You know, oh, he's so arrogant. Why? Because he's smart enough not to fall for your political games. Oh, he's so in, uh, he's such a, 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 a sore loser. He can't even recognize a historical moment. Why should we celebrate someone who is the quintessential establishment player who should have won by at the beginning of the summer? She was up by 50 points. So the excuse me if the narrative actually reflects something that is more of an, an accomplishment that a person who was down by 50 points at the beginning of the summer, a, a self-proclaimed democratic socialist, someone that 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 everyone, even his own party, is labeling as a uh, uh, as a as a communist. Beats the heir apparent or gets within 0.3 points of the heir apparent, I do believe that is a more significant narrative for last night. Catch me on. Uh, let's see if she beats if she beats him and she manages to beat Marco Rubio, which I don't think she can. Then see me at the inauguration. And I will say I will say here, here we have a female, a woman president. I'm excited about having a woman president, but she's not progressive. And I'm going to call her on the carpet every single day. That's the funny thing. Um, side step, side note before I play some video. I want to play.